Uber or drunk enough to talk about this college. I, and I really am not. <laughs> I'm not just trying Anyway, dude, new college has been incredible because I feel like it gave me a place to question everything that I had always taken for granted and be like, wait, why am I doing this actually, by the way, and realizing that there really was no reason behind it besides the social pressure. And so then I stopped doing it and it was incredibly liberating. And the people here are so beautiful and so talented, like the Ellen who's holding the camera. She plays a song that's about, well, it's not really about spaghetti but it compares something to spaghetti, and I love that song so much. <laughs> so much, I can't even express how much I love it. There's a breathe, I have to go shoot her. <laughs> hey, New college is incredibly beautiful. Colorful place to grow yes. as long as you are in the The sheets are so soft I could almost lay here all day. I remember orientation. Uh, it's just after I got back to summer camp and I got to new college. And I hope I got new college is just like camp, except for you learn. And, there's this one afternoon, it, it pretty much rained every day because it was still in the uh, summertime. And um, it was raining really hard, and everyone just poured out of their dorm rooms and pay in the palm court. And we're just like sliding on the tiles and playing baseball with palm fronds and jumping in puddles. And Evan Neal put on this little little purple uh, Speedo and got on my shoulders and people were pouring beer on us from the balconies. And, and um, my motto from orientation was, uh, go all out. I guess, and so I, I put go all out with tape on my um, window and paint in the third court. Louder? Yeah, louder. So that everyone could see it. <laughs> and um, eventually, over the semester, it turned into goat balls. Somehow that happened, which is really funny having parents on tours going by and seeing goat balls. What is goat balls? Um, but uh, yeah, orientation was just so fun. And it was, and I, I had that moment after, right after my parents drove away and they were playing like Blink-182 out of the speakers and I just had luggage in my arms and I was like, college. <laughs> I don't know, I think I, I had a pretty good tour. Like, I came a week before um, I was going to, before the deadline was due, so like right before May. And um, I was just walking around and I went into Palm Court and people were making butt buckets. And sitting there making butt buckets were Patrick Young and Carolyn Barker. So I think I got a pretty good idea of what New College was like then, but I didn't realize how like open and tolerant it was until I actually came here. When I was in uh, Intermediate Greek with John Moore when he was still here. Every day of class, oh, 10 to 20 minutes late. We all waited, and we started one day. We took bets. We laid down whatever's in our pockets. Uh, we laid bets on which minute he was going to come in. Lord Wolfgang and I split the pot because I bet uh, I bet 12 after she bet, 14 after he came in, 13 minutes after the hour. Uh, so we split the pot. I took the quarter and the condom. She took the orange slice and the little menthol thing. Honestly, it's still one of my favorite bits uh, from, from New College. Hello, uh, my name is Lauren. And me, Ellen. And we are making the video that you are watching one. Right now. We're making it right now. 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 Right now. Um, we want to make this video for some reason. <laughs> this is the salad that we dream about. So you're just going to and now it's a real salad. salad. So it's uh, no longer a dream salad. But I'm going to dream about it tonight. So it will go back to being a dream salad? I mean, yes. is it a dream salad now? Uh, my dream salad was everything I dreamed it could be. It had tempeh and feta cheese and avocado and sesame sticks and organic lettuce. And it was local and it was delicious and it was messy and it was inappropriate and wonderful. And you got to see the new college student body acting responsibly and not taking too much, but just taking enough. 
It's, I mean, I guess it depends on what we're talking about in terms of what a dream anything is, right? Right. Can it have a real component as well? Right. If I dream about this tree, is it a dream tree? Because we think about we think about common usage of dream, say, our dream car. Like, of course, we're dreaming about it until we have it, but when we have it, it's still a dream car. I mean, presumably not. We'll probably start dreaming about the next newest Lamborghini when we get our dream car. I think that these and other issues need to be explored more fully before the next dream salad party. That's why I sent an email out. So I guess in essence this project is our reflection upon New College, going around, asking people how they feel about it. It's meta. Um, I mean, personally, the reason I asked people to write reflections is because I sat down and I had no idea how to make sense of these four years. I was like, well, maybe someone else can articulate it for me, um, which <laughs> they did. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, and you might be understanding. I my mean, new college you experience is basically because I have my life, like, my love. I have very little left um, to do in this. I just don't want to have it on my plate. Learned how to make espresso here. I learned how to how to not call it espresso for the first time. That was pretty exciting. Um, and now I've come full circle, making making cappuccinos with the best of them. It's good times, man. New college has taught me a lot. Really quick, I'm just going to talk about the time that Eugene Lewis threatened me with hellfire. Um, I don't think he's a particularly religious man, but he asked a rhetorical question once of whether the Medici has decided to lend money during the Renaissance in Italy. I uh, snarkily answered, probably because it was worth it. Still think it might actually be the right answer, but he came right in front of me and said, Do you know what pain is, boy? Because I can show you pain. And that 80-year-old man you wouldn't think would be that scary, and he is. He so is. Is. Still my favorite. Maybe not necessarily the best way to learn a whole hell of a lot. Of, well, no, he definitely taught us a hell of a lot about uh, Machiavelli, but at the same time, I was not necessarily wanting to answer a single one of his other rhetorical questions. He's a good professor. He's a good year. I mean, you can talk about your favorite new college, like, folklore, or, like, your favorite movement, or your favorite professor, your favorite class, you know. Well, I mean, now that I'm here, I have to say that this is definitely my favorite class, uh, electronic music. Um, it was really great that the, the school was able to uh, gather funds and uh, give us a lot of pretty uh, expensive stuff to create music with. And I was really surprised at how, uh, I mean, I wasn't completely surprised, but it was, it was really great to see how amazing all these uh, songs and music um, that was put together. It was just really incredible.